Mr. Ronaldo. I've seen a little bit about you on the TV and read about you in the newspapers, and uh, you definitely have to be a brave man. Yes, sir, I am. I was brave to knock on your door. It's a little bit rough out there today. Would you like to come in the house, sir? Thank you. Come on in. We're doing a little filming. Oh, sure. Mr. Holbrook, what I'm doing today is walking for fair boundaries. The state has been gerrymandered. To death. To death. <laughs> You're very familiar with it. I am, sir. So I'm asking uh, people such as yourself if they'd sign a petition so that we can get fair boundaries on the ballot and we can give the citizens the opportunity to vote and to choose how they would really like to be represented. It's exactly where it ought to be done instead of a back room somewhere, the way it's been done. For you to come out and do this, exclusive of the fact that you're running for the Senate, uh, that's just a very laudable, laudable project that you're doing. And that is exactly what the people have found in this country intended for us to do, is have the country be run by the people like yourself not power brokers in a back room somewhere like this uh, county in particular, the state in general and the nation has at times uh, when the imbalances take place. I'd be glad to sign that. I'd, Thank you. You got a pen? I do have a pen. <clears throat> you betcha. So what, uh, what is it that possessed you to uh, to, uh, Let me see if I have a better pen. It's take, a little cold out there. Today. It's a little chilly here. Yeah. What possessed me? Uh huh. To run for the United States Senate? Yeah, that's like my you discouragement in the way this country is headed, and those that are in power have uh, led us down what I believe to be the wrong path. And it's time for a change. Change is the buzzword. Uh, change is the buzzword, and I have to tell you that. I was really interested. I saw a program with uh, our Secretary of State and one of the predominant members of the uh, party that opposes you. And, uh, you know, major issues that are going on right now. The economy, of course, is a big one. The war is a big one. Health care is a huge one. And fairness, what you're representing today here, is a big issue. And uh, I guess they felt like they could attack uh, uh, Madam Secretary uh, Clinton on, you know, whatever uh, issues. But she stepped up and I was really, I don't care what you think of Hillary Clinton, doesn't matter, or Bill Clinton. She made one statement that put it all in perspective. She said, when we left the White House, my husband and I, this country was operating with a balanced, balanced budget and a surplus. And it took not too long for that to disappear. And now, after living through eight years, well actually nine years of that, and with a change in procedure, policy, and government only in effect for nine months, everybody's ranting and raving about when's it going to happen. Well, we gave, by we I mean the people of the United States of America gave an administration eight years and it didn't happen, so I think nine or ten months is not adequate time and for you to want to be a part of that change and for you to represent issues like this uh, I think you've got uh, well with uh, my wife and kids I would imagine that you've got at least seven votes and there are about oh when I ran as a Democrat here last fall I can't remember. I remember the percentage. I don't remember the exact numbers, but probably 40% of Davis County will vote for you. And uh, there are some really good people out there in both parties. Yes, you know, sir. I, I've, I've never seen you uh, in your campaign make any kind of partisan type statements. Um, I think it's a laudable thing that you're a Democrat. 
Hard to be a Democrat in Utah. Hard to be a successful businessman like you've been as a Democrat in Utah. Oh, you know, uh, Mr. Granada, I'm not sure what you're doing because I don't think you need this, <laughs> you know, as a person. But we certainly need you as a people. I appreciate that. And uh, that's exactly what uh, I hope takes place. It's nice to have you in our home. I wish Jackie were here. She's uh, out shopping for Christmas. I hope she's getting you some nice presents. Well, and I, and I do too. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Well, no one to check the credit card uh, there register. You this is, this is really great that you're doing this. I'm Jay Delfenbrook, and I approve the Fair Banders for Utah, and I support and endorse Sam Granato for the United States Senate. Mr. Holbrook, thank you so much. I'm Sam Granato, and I approve this message. Thank you.